This is yet another example of regime change carried out not by military means so far, but carried out using the institutions, or rather misusing them, to try and get rid of an elected government. Juan Guaido, who has been imposed on the people of Venezuela, they hope, represents a tiny organization, a far-right organization, and has been trained by the United States for some time. He is a U.S. asset. Uh, this is what has been happening in that country for some time. So regardless of any criticisms one may or may not have of Nicolas Maduro or the mistakes made by the government, the reason Maduro is being toppled or attempts are being made to topple him and impose a stooge American politician uh, like they attempted to do in Libya and elsewhere is because the Americans want a new government. They don't care a damn whether it's elected or not. And for that reason alone, it is absolutely necessary to oppose uh, 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 this act. The fact that so many mainstream media organizations are now part and parcel of these adventures that the Americans embark upon and that the European Union countries, Britain included, have by and large, with the exception of the Cyprus government in Greece, supported this maneuver indicates as to how the one word they shouldn't use is democracy. This has nothing to do with democracy. It has everything to do with regime change. Thank okay. you very much.